Travis Wayne Goodsell, it just occurred to me that I forgot to give you the picture that I spent time making just for you guys for the Sunday School lesson video that nobody's watching, and that's probably why. <laughs> so, uh, I've got uh, the picture for you for this video, which is therefore going to be extremely short. So, yeah, it's the Sunday School video, uh, what's it called? Uh, LDS Sunday School Lesson, 13 February 2022, What Happened to Noah? So I, I did make another uh, thumbnail picture, but I intended to have the picture I did have. Uh, to go over it with you? Why not? I went through all the trouble. I explained it in the video, but since I have to make another video... So no, it's not that one. Correct it. Uh, so these four Egyptian characters are part of the Egyptian version of the flood, the origin of the flood story, of Noah and his three sons. And so Noah is new. If you remember from Matthew 24. Uh, the latter days is compared to the days of no, N-O-E. Take away the vowels, N with N. Same guy. Uh, the Egyptian Ogdode, uh, I'll put that in here for you too, if I remember. <laughs> uh, those pictures are a little bit too large. They're starting to fuzz. And uh, uh, so sometimes he's uh, portrayed as a scarab beetle uh, rather than being one of the lizard creatures, <laughs> serpents. Uh, but uh, <coughs> that has to do with the underworld concept and yeah, it's higher level learning, won't go into it, but uh, the basic premise is that the Bible is a collection of different stories from the Egyptian documents combined together into a single narrative, and so the Noah story comes from the Ogdod story, uh, which is a creation story, and so Noah is new. Uh, Hehu is Japheth, and uh, uh, Kekui, and that's Ham, which is actually Cam in phonetics, and he's Egypt, so Mitzrayim has to be removed, and I explain how Joseph Smith is a translator, uh, and his wife's name is Kemet, which is Egypt, and that's what's being referred to by Joseph Smith in Abraham chapter 1. And I don't know why Egyptologists haven't caught that. Especially the Mormon apologists who throw Joseph under the bus. But nonetheless, Amun is Shem, the name, and I go into explaining again how Melchizedek is Amun and Amun is Shem. And so Amunet is his wife. So, there you have it. And so, even though Noah is portraying Amun as son Amun to restore the throne of Father Amun, uh, it's doing a role reversal where Noah, once the flood begins, is now Father Amun, and uh, son Amun becomes uh, Amun, who is Shem, but the Bible author in the Roman period wrote it so that Shem is is uh, Mesopotamia rather than Egyptian. 
they're all Egyptian, but he complicated. And so, uh, led to Magog, uh, Japheth is uh, the father of Magog, and so the battle in Ukraine right now is the battle of Magog, going back to that, Christians think it's Ukraine, because of the Bible author, so there you have it.